Javier? I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... said it was really... freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course, uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. The best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less. We're pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. There's a spot up ahead where... You should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Oh, big place, right? Big barn in the back. It's not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. This could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And I got an idea. All these trees, I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices. See if we can hear what they're saying. Cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, oh, Edie, get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. Your niece will pull it out, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. 
go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay. You take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Be quiet. Under here. There's no place else I could store it. Hey, Arthur. Give me a hand here. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good.
boy. Glad to finally speak. Out of the damn way. Hey. Ain't you done pawing Hello. around for trouble? You look like a damned idiot. Hmm. Do come in. I'd like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Jacob Worth is a friend of mine. I admire him, but he's just about the worst poker player in all of Valentine. The more bounty posters that go up, the more people flock to my shop. Plenty of reason for that, Valentine. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. Keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. You know what? Bet you you could use some rifling on this thing. Essential, I reckon.
If you need anything, let me know. Jacob Worth is a friend of mine. I admire him, but he's just about the worst poker player in all of Valentine. Just remembered I put my pistol down as a bid in poker the other night. I can't recall who won that though. Damn. Hey, it's beautiful condition. Keep it up. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. We could do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt, your pick. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. How about you get some new sights for this, huh? You'll be very pleased with this. Smart addition. Keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. I bet this will shoot better with some new sides. Dangerous. Thanks, Mr. You keep this up, no one's gonna bet either. Just a little pig on the cheek. Think I'll have another drink and then go see your wife. What can I get you?
Be glad Dutch didn't send you back to Blackwater. How's it going? Charles and Javier. I heard it got bloody down there. Yeah, it worked out, I guess. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay. You did good with Sean. You wouldn't have got him without you. you All feeling? we seem to do is rescue folks these days, Arthur. A little better. <laughs> I know. Well, don't let me bother you. Okay, then. How do you ask? Just making conversation. I'm sorry. I was being catty. I, I don't know why. You're very purdy. I'm sorry, I'm not being forward or nothing, but you are. You're very sweet. Hey, Tilly. Strange. You recover from Horrible Sean's party? Yeah. Don't know if he has. I'm not no Driscoll, miss. Okay. Whatever you say. Karen. All right. Morning. You heard from any O'Driscolls? No, of course not. I've been here with you a lot. You do. You make sure you tell us, okay? Yeah. Okay, I'll catch you later then. How you doing? Oh, I'm fine. Happy to have Sean back. Yep. It'll never be quiet around here again. Okay, speak later. Sure. We're doomed. Just like every other creature on this rock. But unlike them, we'll go down fighting. Is that what you believe? I don't know, son. I don't know what I believe. Apart from wishing I wasn't gonna find out sooner than I'd like. Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border? Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night? Not too guarded? It's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train? Pain in the ass. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. How are you diddling? We have to keep the faith, right? What else is there? Exactly. We ain't done until we're done. And we've made it this far. There he is. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right, then. I really hope this new garb of yours isn't a permanent fixture. 
Looks real heavy in Blackwater, Dutch. Posters of you and Jose everywhere, Trelawney said. All the more reason to stay well away for now. I got no intention of going back anytime soon. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Whatever you say. Always good to see you. Good morning. You look fine. Okay, Arthur. Well, don't let me interrupt the beauty routine. All right, then, Arthur. Make a big pot. I'm starving. Morning, Arthur. Make it a good one today. Oh, I will. I'm down to the scraps here now, Mr. Morgan. Shaw, sure. might as well make some money off it. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Hello there. All of you! Listen to me! This cab doesn't run on air! Do some work! Get us some money! Find us How some things? food! We may not be about to freeze to death, but at this rate, we will starve! Come on! We've been at this for too long to live like this! Well said, Miss Grimshaw. That goes for you, too, Mr. Morgan. We need food! I hear you. Well, I should get back to it. All right, Stay alert Morgan. there, Javier. What are you wearing? Any new leads? I'm working on it. Well, you just let me know. Hi there, ladies. Arthur. So we're working on a plan for that train you told me about. Hello. Oh, I was wondering about that. It sounded worth a look. Well, I suppose I should be getting on. Sounds good. You and Sean seem to enjoy the party then? Oh, shut up. What did I say? Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> 